Good afternoon and welcome to Uniquely Urbandale, brought to you by the good folks at the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce. I'm J. Michael McCoy for WebcastOneLive.com, and I have with me today two people from the ReStore. Correct? Did I say that right? All right. Uh, I have Jenna, who is the Director of Development and Marketing for Habitat for Humanity. So you're really representing the big group. Yes. And J- or Lane, you are the ReStore Director. Yes. You're like the, the manager of the store. And some. <laughs> and some. All right. We'll, we'll hear all about that. And, of course, this uh, new store, you probably are familiar with the one over on Euclid at 235. This new store is on Northwest Urbandale Drive in Urbandale. I think formerly it was a deck and pool table place or something like that. So we're glad to have you in uh, the western part of our community. You know, I don't know if you've ever lived in big towns. I know Des Moines is not that big, but driving clear over to Euclid, when I can just slip over to Northwest Urbandale Avenue, that's been really nice. (laughs) All right, so first of all, let's start out, Jen, with you. Tell me about Habitat for Humanity. Sure, I'd be happy to. So Habitat's all about building homes, communities, and hope. So the thing we're most known for is our home ownership program, and that's where we work with families who wouldn't be able to apply for a traditional mortgage, but through us, uh, we offer a no a no profit mortgage um, that's affordable to the family. They do sweat equity hours. We have volunteers that partner with us, and in the end, they own their own home. Yeah, that's awesome. And I think about uh, um, uh, the folks that own Hubble Real Estate. They've mm-hmm. always been really, really good to you guys, I think. We have a lot of great corporate partners. Yeah. Um, we're very lucky. We have a lot of volunteers, and then obviously that community support helps us do what we do. So why are you so passionate about this? Uh, housing is about more than just shelter. Housing is about a foundation. So I really feel, and Habitat feels, that without a safe, decent place to live, um, you really don't have a lot of a foundation to build upon. So, you know, health, wellness, education, those are all great. Um, But without that shelter and stability, um, that's really where you need to start. And how long have you been with Habitat for Humanity? Uh, Since about 2006, with a brief break, but since about 2006. Good. 10 years. Glad to have you aboard. Mm, Thank thank you. you. All right, Lane, you're the restore director. You're the you're the you're the whip, right? (laughs) Keeps them going. We try. What uh, what type of things does the ReStore usually stock or have there? Well, we work off of donated new and used building materials. So we're looking for anything that's building related. So that might be bathroom fixtures, you know, that gallon of paint that you bought, but you just didn't quite like the color. It might be the door you replaced. Maybe it's the whole kitchen cabinet set because you did a kitchen remodel. Yeah, I've seen that in your store where you'll have three or four big, large pieces of kitchen cabinet, and they look pretty good to me, you know. All right, let me ask you this now. Um, Those items are donated by me, by you, by anybody that wants to come out and donate something. That's what, yes, that's what we, we work for is to get donations. Okay. Now, if I've got some stuff, uh, if I've got some building materials laying around the house, do you come and get them or is part of my opportunity is to bring them to you? Well, if we'd like if the, the donor is able to, to bring it to us. Okay. But we do have a pickup service for those larger items or a large donation where we'll have our box truck come out on a schedule and stop at your home and pick those items up. All right. Now, were you with the East Euclid store also? Yes. Okay. Why come west? Well, Des Moines supported us real well so far. And what we were finding is that our East Euclid store was really starting to max out Mm. um, customers and donations and such. And coming over to the west side has really opened up the opportunity for us to be closer to the donors and closer to a whole other group of shoppers. But you still have the East Euclid store. Yes, we do. And your plan is to keep that one open also. Yes. Why are you so passionate about this, Lane? The ReStore is just a really neat opportunity because we're raising funds for Habitat. We're helping build more homes. At the same time, we're keeping items out of the landfill because we want people to donate. And we're making home improvements really affordable for the vast majority of people in the community. All right. So somebody's listening today and uh, their ears perked up because they said, oh, that old door I've got in the garage. Somebody could use that. How do they contact you? Uh, Best way is to give us a call at our um, phone number, 515-309-0224. And we've got folks that'll answer the phone that'll talk you through those potential donations and make sure it's something that we can use. And 
I would imagine you would enjoy people coming out and helping you build those houses sometimes, the volunteers that people need? Absolutely. So you can volunteer on the construction site with our repair program, Rock the Block, and then also at both restores. So we're going to work with about 10,000 volunteers this year, so we could absolutely use more. Wow. All right. Lane and Jana, thank you very much for coming in today. I appreciate it. And congratulations on your new and exciting store. I'll come in and see it one of these days. Thank We're you. Looking forward to seeing you. You bet. I'm J. Michael McCoy for the Urbandale Chamber of Commerce. This is Uniquely Urbandale.